With respect to concussions and student athletes, I think the NCAA has done almost nothing right. They have not taken responsibility for concussion management. Instead, unlike other areas where they regulate to the nth degree, they've said to the schools, it's up to you. We'll give you some basic guidelines. They've attended the medical conventions that happen every four years about concussion management plans. They have not adopted the consensus standard. Well, the reason we sued the NCAA is because they're the leader, they should set the standard, and they are complicit in the concussion problem at the college level. The NCAA was collecting concussion data every year, and they knew that there were at least eight sports where there was repetitive and a high degree of concussions, and they didn't do anything about it. In my opinion, the NCAA, given the knowledge they had about the occurrence of concussions in a wide range of sports, they were woefully negligent on what they did. What we want to achieve in our concussion litigation, I think, is two objectives. One is to have a medical monitoring program where student athletes who have played in concussion sports can be tested by doctors every five years to see if they're manifesting symptoms and to be treated if they are. And second, to have an agreed protocol with the NCAA going forward as to adoption of best management for concussion practices.